What is the best free keyword research tool in 2020? And how you can get started with YouTube SEO so that you can start growing your YouTube channel and getting more views. In this video, I'm going to explain to you the keyword research tool that we've used to get well over 1 million views on our YouTube channel. And how you can start using this tool to grow your own YouTube channel. The keyword research tool we use is called TubeBuddy. And if you haven't got a TubeBuddy account yet, you can click on the link in the description down below to sign up for a free account. This is an affiliate link. And if you end up going onto one of the paid versions to really invest in your YouTube channel, then we will earn a small commission, which helps fund this channel and allows us to create these videos just for you. Now, before we get started, I want to explain a secret to you that's going to help you grow your YouTube channel faster when you're first starting out. The most important thing that you need to do is to narrow down your competition. By eliminating the competition, you give yourself a better chance of ranking higher in YouTube search, which is going to get you more views. If you can find long tail keywords with less competition, this is going to give you the best possible opportunity to rank at the top of YouTube search. If you haven't installed the TubeBuddy Chrome extension yet and you want to see how, you can watch our video here on how to sign up for a free account with TubeBuddy and activate the Chrome extension. So let me show you a few examples of how we find the right keywords for our YouTube videos. Once we're on the YouTube homepage, we're going to head over to our TubeBuddy keyword research tool and go to tools and select the Keyword Explorer, and we're gonna launch the Keyword Explorer. Now I'm gonna walk you through three different examples of doing keyword research so you can see the process start to finish on three different examples. The first example we're gonna go through is how to bake a cake. So we're gonna start off with a broad topic for our video, and then I want you to drill down a bit deeper to try and decrease the competition for that specific keyword. And this is the most important thing when we're first starting out, is to narrow your audience and focus on a specific long tail keyword. So you can see here the search volume is very high for how to bake a cake, but the competition is also high, which means it's poor, which means it's very hard for you to rank for that specific search query. And you can see that by the total overall score that TubeBuddy gives us. So now I want us to go from our broad topic to find a longer tail keyword that's still relevant to the topic we want to make the video from. So let's go over to related video searches and there's how to bake a cake from scratch, how to bake a cake without an oven, or how to bake a cake in the microwave. So there are a whole lot of different options that we can go. So there's without an oven and in a microwave. So let's have a look at the competition for how to bake a cake in a microwave. And you can see our overall score has gone to 60 and that's because the search volume is still pretty good, but the competition has come down. So there's less competition, which means it's a lot easier to rank for this longer tail keyword. And now we can go even deeper. So how to bake a cake in a microwave without egg. And have a look at that. We've got an excellent score, 100 out of 100. So there's really good search volume for this term and the competition is low enough for us to optimize and rank for this search. So there's a really great example on how to go from a broad topic, how to bake a cake, and now we've gone all the way down to how to bake a cake in a microwave without egg. Let's go on to our second example, which is custom thumbnails. Okay, so we can see this is a poor, so it's too broad, three out of 100. The search volume is fair, but the competition is way too high. So let's dig a bit deeper. There's custom thumbnails on YouTube. Custom thumbnails on YouTube 2020. I like it when you can go specific to the year, that helps a lot. Custom thumbnails on YouTube with an iPhone. Custom thumbnails on YouTube not working. Custom thumbnails on YouTube Studio. Custom thumbnails on YouTube Mobile. Custom thumbnails on YouTube not working after verification. There's an interesting topic that goes a bit deeper. And then have a look at these common video tags down the bottom, which give you an example of what kind of tags other people are using for this specific term. So there's how to make custom thumbnails on YouTube. I like that. 
So it's exactly a how-to video and it's giving you the detail on custom thumbnails as well as a specific topic for YouTube. So that's 28 out of 100, which is a bit better. Search volume is fair and the competitions come down a tiny bit, but not enough for us to actually really get going. So let's try how to make custom thumbnails on YouTube mobile. And we've got to excellent, 85 out of 100. So the competition is really low, which is very good. And the search volume is still pretty good. Now I want to show you how we can get ideas from other video searches. So what they've given us here is how to make custom thumbnails on YouTube videos on Android Mobile 2020 and then the guy's name. So we don't want his name, but I like the idea on Android Mobile. So let's add that in and see if we can get a higher score. And we've got a score of 84 out of 100. Now, if we can add in that 2020, so the specific year, let's see if that brings it even further down. The score's gone lower and the competition has stayed in the middle, but the search volume is lower. So it actually hasn't improved the score. Let's try and change a meaning of a word to how to make or how to enable. And the score is still good and low volume and interesting. If you find you're heading backwards and you're going to a lower score, then we can head back by clicking in here and getting some more ideas. So that's a 21. And let's actually take away the mobile and go back to YouTube. There's our 64 on YouTube Studio. There we go. So there's excellent. Another 100 out of 100 score, which is what we're looking for. Search volume is really high and competition is not too high. So you want to get this score as high as possible. You don't have to get to the 100 out of 100 score that we're getting at the moment, but you want to get as close as you possibly can while narrowing down that competition so that you have the best possible chance on ranking for that specific keyword. So let's head on to our third example and have a look and see what kind of score we can get here. So let's go for low body workout. And that's a score of 14 out of 100. Now this is a very broad topic. Search volume is very high, but competition is also high, so it's poor. And that's why our score is so low. So let's get down into some longer tail keywords. Low body workout with no equipment. Low body workout with dumbbells. Low body workout at home. Low body workout with resistance bands. I like this one at home. Let's try that. So that's 31 out of 100, which is getting a bit better. Let's try for beginners. And have a look at that. Excellent. 100 out of 100. And we haven't gone very far from low body workout. We've just gone at home for beginners. And that's high search volume with low enough competition for you to optimize. Now you can go even further. There's low body workout for female beginners at home. Let's see what kind of score we're gonna get there. Also 100 out of 100. So that's drilling down even more specific to females and working out at home. And I really like how we can get to the excellent score using a keyword tool like the Keyword Explorer from TubeBuddy. If you have any questions or queries about using the Keyword Explorer, please let us know in the comment section down below and we'll be happy to help you out. If you want us to explain in detail any more parts of the Keyword Explorer or any other tools inside of TubeBuddy, let us know in the comments and we'll make a video on that specific topic just for you. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're new here, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel because we create new videos every single week, helping you start and grow on YouTube. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.